May the 24th, 2019. Guys, you're looking at geocolor satellite images in the infrared from NOAA. You can see Florida in the top left going up through Georgia and south and North Carolina. This time of the year, our normal uh, tropical pattern will start in this lower left section of the screen. In the Caribbean and move up through that area and eventually we'll start seeing them go through the pass between Cuba and the Yucatan into the Gulf of Mexico. What we're seeing now in this latest images coming in late this afternoon is you've got a wind shear that's moving from left to right. Let's take a look at this. Check this out. Now that is what uh, tears the top of these storms off in the early season. And we've seen it even with the more powerful Atlantic storms also. Hurricanes depend on that energy and that vortex spinning up, becoming a dynamo of energy. And uh, when that top gets sheared off of it, it keeps it from becoming too strong. So right now we're seeing on the lower level, as we turn this back on, you will see uh, as far as low level winds moving the opposite direction, moving in this direction getting ready for hurricane season. Right now we're dealing with wind shear. But in the last few frames, again, today's timestamp in the bottom, notice the heat. And the heat is a, a critical factor in this entire part of our planet right now. Guys, there's a ridge of high pressure coming into the southeast over Memorial Day weekend. Some meteorologists called it a death ridge. This ridge of high pressure because the heat is going to be ex extreme there could be records broken across the southeast you guys know where i'm talking about florida georgia alabama mississippi louisiana texas there's already high heat watches and warnings going out record breaking temperatures why not because of global warming it's just the opposite that's why the in places in the upper elevations in California and other in Colorado, north of there, still getting winter weather, winter weather advisories. You've seen my videos for the last few days. And uh, so what, what is happening, guys? Many of you understand it already, but the Earth's dynamo, the shields of our um, magnetosphere, magnetos poles, all of that is related to the amount of energy You've got the north and south poles of our planet. They're like the north and, or say, the hot and the negative wires on an electric motor. As the sun's energy bursts from its surface via solar winds, coronal mass ejection, solar flares, things like that, then that as they strike the Earth's surface, or excuse me, the surf, the surface of the uh, Earth shields, the magnetos pause and the magnetosphere. As they strike that, then the energy inside the Earth increases because you're connecting the negative and the positive, the north and the south pole. When that energy hits the Earth and is transferred for, uh, into the core of the planet, then guys, that our shield glows it's like putting more energy into a light bulb the brighter it gets the shields expand out they become stronger and stronger but when the sun's energy is weak so is our shields so instead of going into global warming like some people think we are they're highly misinformed we're going into weak shield situation where the upper elevations in the northern hemisphere will be more effective with longer winters. Look at the, la again, last few videos. Look at Northern California. Look at some of the places from Colorado and north of there. But to what we're dealing with now is weak shield gamma radiation energy. Guys, if you're out in it this weekend, Memorial Day, you better prepare because there, it's going to break records in the southeast. And if it's breaking records up in Florida, again, looking at this map, where most of our early hurricanes and storms form, you can see that the heat energy is already affecting it. What we will watch, again, notice uh, here under the island of Cuba at the lower levels, 
the winds that are coming off of Africa at the surface are already moving in from east to west, the way the hurricanes move. Once this wind shear is cut off, then these storms you see forming here and here will build energy in these warmer waters and will start to move it further north. Right now, on the National Hurricane Center map, there is no watches or warnings in the Atlantic Ocean, period. Look for that to change. The, and let me expand this out and let's kind of look from here over to Africa and uh, look at the potential from there. Now, backing out and looking from the central uh, Gulf of Mexico all the way to the African coastline, you can see that the upper level winds are moving in the sheer wind direction from left to right on your screen. And uh, until just the last few days, these storms that are building in Africa and near the uh, tropical convergence zone have been quiet, but we're starting to see that change. Also, this has been a pretty straight line moving from the African coast over uh, South America up into this area. But now in just today's images, I've started to notice this drift north of a lot of this moisture. If what you're dealing with on the African coast, uh, you're seeing storms here forming. Last year, remember, we started seeing these build and form one after the other and move across the Atlantic. And one other factor we've got to remember in watching this is the dust. And now the uh, satellites are, have the sensors to uh, give us that information. It's important because when you get this what's called Saharan dust or Saharan sand that blows off the African coast, guys, moves all the way across the tip of South and Central America, even up into Florida, into Cuba, into Texas, Louisiana, depending on the wind stream. Sand is a drying factor. In other words, if you have moisture building in the Atlantic off the African coast to, into a tropical storm, then that sand is putting a damper on it. The moisture is absorbed, the sand becomes heavy, and it drops into the sea. It's like a sponge. So that's a big factor. But right now we're starting to see more and more moisture on the African coast in the right of your screen. That will tend to absorb a lot, a lot of the dust before it's blown off the, excuse me, the Saharan plains. Now this is from Sky Tower Power of the Fox Hurricane Network down out of Florida, guys. Notice your timestamp. It's going from today until the 27th. And the brown areas are exactly what they look like. It's African dust. And this has been going on for millions of years. And you can see it going all the way from the African continent through the Caribbean. You can see it in the first of the images. Storm that's even trapped off the Midwest moved out into the ocean. And now moving back over Miami. That's unusual compared to the last couple of years. But this sand absorbs moisture. Dry sand, if you expose it to water, it becomes very heavy because it absorbed it and it drops. It takes the moisture out of the storms. But once we see that change, and you can see uh, dips in it where there's no sand, and what happened last year, watching the hurricanes, we would see a storm come off of Africa and be absorbed into these uh, sandstorms. Then one would come right back behind it and take advantage of those openings like you're seeing in the bottom right of your screen. That and the uh, changing of the wind patterns, that's the wind shear that's moving from the left of your screen to the right that's killing the top of the storms. Guys, it's just kind of a quick update. Now, Let's quickly looking at the U.S. We're going to go into record heat again. I talked about that. There's tornado possibilities all through the Midwest. That can continue also because of the way the high pressure set up and the cool Canadian air is moving down. That tornadic alley could continue for the next few days. Again, looking at the National Weather Center, this area that's moving Again, northeast and all the way from Texas, actually coming out of Mexico now, all the way through uh, Lake Michigan, that entire area, guys, all the states involved there, all through from this morning, tornado warnings and watches have been popping up. 
and they're still happening now in this area right there you're looking at eastern iowa and northwestern illinois they call it the quad city areas tornado warnings are out the entire yellow area from texas oklahoma through kansas missouri all the way up guys tornado watch again it's been going on day after day after day you've got flash flood warnings and flash flood watches now here's what's changing this severe thunderstorm warning orange is different than this one. This one is heat advisory, guys. And what that means is what I was talking about. It's building now in the panhandle of Florida for all of my friends there. Notice where it's in the edge of Georgia and southeastern Alabama. This is going to build over this entire area for the Memorial Day weekend. Some meteorologist call it a death ridge of heat that heat is that death ridge is going to be caused because our shields are weak and not only is it solar radiation but external radiation from that space radiation that is penetrating our atmosphere the sunburns are going to be in, uh, extremely strong this weekend i know that uh, the population of the united states is much lo uh, larger than the folks that listen to my videos. But guys, it's, if you're going out in this, or you have friends that are going out in this death ridge of heat, make sure that they have shade, make sure that they're aware of it, that they have sunscreen that's proper, and plenty of water to drink. Don't become a victim of heat, guys, because if you ever have a heat stroke, or you burn bad enough, you never recover from it. You're always, it makes your system much more uh, susceptible to these, to, to heat, to heat strokes, things like that. Believe me, I know. But guys, again, not global warming. We're dealing with weak shields because of going into a grand solar minimum. We have to deal with both ends of this spectrum from the cooler weather to these extreme heat waves but again the winters will last longer through the spring and through the summer in the northern hemispheres you'll see that the rest of the weather will be in complete chaos for the next few years be prepared guys and i want to mention a couple of our sponsors my patriot supply first of all and gq electronics here because you we're dealing with both uh, gamma radiation from space they have the meters for that and the electromagnetic field radiation that we're dealing with from 4g and what's coming up with 5g we talked about in the video before that and for all of you uh, preppers as far as survival food and survival water filtration and supplies my patriot supply no longer has the 149 special on the water filters that comes and goes as the supply demands but they're saying that between us and info wars we are keeping them at very low volume or very low supply but and so but they're more coming so they've got this the price back up to the lecture pure at fewer, full retail if you go there at 249 remember Many of you bought it with $100 off via our website at $149. But what they do have now is they're waiting for another full shipment of the uh, Alexa Pure with one filter. They have the full Pro uh, Force Filter Super Pack. What you're dealing with, and let me explain it briefly. When you order this tank, it holds about two and a half gallons or so in each the top tank you fill and then the filtered water in the bottom tank it comes with one of these american made charcoal filters number one in the world by far nothing compares as far as the what's filtered or the amount of gallons per cost it really makes a big difference but what is happening with this system now and they've knocked off uh, 250 bucks normally with the tank the filters are ninety eighty nine ninety five a piece. Retail at one nineteen. We keep them at about eighty nine bucks. Four of those are three hundred and sixty dollars. That gives you twenty thousand gallons of water, five thousand per filter. 
Guys, that's at a dollar per gallon. Think about it. A filtered water, whether it's a six pack or a gallon jug, is a dollar per gallon. 20,000 gallons is $20,000 worth of filtered water. So take advantage of that. Again, $250 off, guys, and, and you're set up for a very long time. If you do the math, if you can cook and, uh, and drink as far as the water you put inside your body, a couple of gallons a day at 20,000 gallons, guys, that's 10,000 days. Think about that. That's a long time and it can make it, it will keep you alive. All you need is a, a, a water supply source, rain, pond, river, stream, and this will take care of it. I've been using it for over two years. I would not go without it. I use it out of, put tap water in it, all of my ice, tea, coffee water, anything you cook with comes through this filter first. And guys, don't forget that um, the one thing that we've done to improve the best of water filter system in the world was increase the outflow by about 30 times. In other words, by adding air into the upper tank without modifying the tank and voiding the warranty, the Aqua Flow Max, uh, great, it changes from a 30 minute uh, drawdown of uh, already filtered water to about a 20 second drawdown up to a minute depending if you need a whole gallon or not. Big difference, thousands of you have gotten those but they're linked here at the bottom. There's a quick video guys on what they do and uh, how you get them. So we appreciate it. It helps support our channel. We work really hard and uh, with the censorship, we need all the help we can get. We appreciate it. It's a heads up. Be safe.